Welcome back all. Laura here once again. So I just had a star fragment fall from the sky and I wanted to run a quick video on star fragments. Uh, what I normally do is I just eat whatever speed meal I happen to have handy. Uh, you can also summon your horse and get there the same way. But uh, long story short, if you happen to see a, a star fragment fall from the sky, uh, just try to get to it as quickly as possible because uh, somewhere between 4 and 5 a.m., whenever sunlight hits it, it's going to disappear. So plan for 4 a.m., but do understand that it might be there as late as 5 a.m. So anyway, uh, if you see a, f a star fragment fall from the sky, uh, don't even bother going over toward it unless you see like a beam of light coming up from it. If there's no big beam of light coming up from it, chances are pretty good it's a dud. Uh, I have chased these things down before, only to find out there's nothing there. Super irritating to have wasted a speed meal for. So my recommendation, no big beam of light, probably no star fragment. So why are star fragments important? Suit upgrades. You're going to need, I think, six of them or more to upgrade the suit of the wild at the end of the game. Not only that, if you're an amiibo user, uh, you're going to need a lot of star fragments, folks. I think uh, at least six per set of the extra sets they give you. So let's just say you happen to have the, the Skyward Sword Link amiibo, and you get the the cap of the sky, and the armor of the sky, and the trousers of the sky. You're gonna need three star fragments to level, or to, uh, yeah, to level that armor up every step of the way at the Great Fairy Fountain. So one per piece per level. Uh, so to get it up to the second level so that you can get, um, the set bonus, it's gonna take six star fragments per set. Alright, so if it happens to land in water, lucky you, it's going to float, no big deal. Uh, one other word of caution on star fragments is if it's on a cliff wall, you're going to want to approach from underneath. Because if it's on the side of a cliff, as soon as you come within range of it, it's going to fall down. And if you're underneath it, you can catch it while it's falling. Alright folks, so that's my little uh, spiel on star fragments. Happy hunting out there. Oh, and there's some bad information out there on the internet about star fragments. Some people say if you go to the top of a tall cliff or a tall mountaintop or tower, you'll see a star fragment. I've followed that advice, and I've gone to the tops of things, and I've stood there for like three or four nights in a row, no star fragments. Super, super frustrating. Where I seem to have the most luck finding star fragments is out in open field. So anywhere on the map where there's lots of wide open flat space, that seems to be where I find, I find the most of my star fragments falling anyway. Uh, I'm sure other people have different experiences out there, but uh, also if you shut the game off, save the game, turn it off, uh, and then kind of fire up a fresh game, load that save point up, get going with your continue, chances are pretty good the first night after that will be a star fragment as well. I've had very good luck with that method. Alright folks, so once again, happy hunting, and we'll see you guys back on the next round.